But it wasn't his brother in law, so he never got caught. It's always a loophole in there. Um, Jay here for Stratford Paddock. Forgive me, because yeah. it's the brew. Start as you're on it. Hi. Which is Wait. madly annoying. Can I vote over? No, Joe. I know. I thought it was a good idea. Early doors, I thought it was a good idea. But you know what I mean? Then we moved into the Northern Quarter. He's wearing Carhartt all the fucking time. You said, right, we'll get all the extras on board. It's been three years. It's worked. Sorry. Anyway. Hello. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Forgive us for introing the brew. If you don't know that's Stephen House, you don't know that's Joe Smith, you don't know I'm Jay Martin. You've got five minutes to make this interesting or I'm just going to start talking about Nicolas Cage. Right, okay. We're going to do something different on the brew. I'm we're not going to talk this. about well, modern we're football. We're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to try until Steve derails it completely. Yeah, if I get bored, right, we're off we're, to the we're doing a flop draft, right? So we're all going to pick our 11. United flop draft, Premier League era. So transfers only, though. It can't be academy players. After watching, it's a different show, but... Okay. Yeah, yeah so it's 4 3 3. You pick the biggest flops United. We all have a, a team of 11 players, 4 yeah. 3 3. None of us have the same player in our team. Yeah. yeah? So, it's so we've got to create draft. three 11s. Here. So yeah. once they've been three picked, 11s. You, the other, no one yeah. else can get them. That's it. That's how we're doing it. <clears throat> so it's not going to be very structured. It'll yeah. be a little bit haphazard. Get involved in the comments. Give us your suggestions. We'll try our best to make it some sort of, you know, organised team but yeah. forgive us if it isn't uh, no promises so yeah, what, no param promises. what parameters have we got Premier League era only Premier League era Fourth. and a flop yeah I don't want to hear about how we paid 10 grand for a player and he didn't work out because that's not a flop because no one expected him to yeah. or the academy are we bothering with the academy is someone coming through the academy is really a flop I don't know no, you have to convince so. me there's no expectation when no. there's no price exactly however as a little wild card in there go on just I'm to all make for it this. a bit interesting I don't know if it's possible is it possible to have a free transfer flop in your... Yes. I think there is. Yes. So, oh, de yes. there's one in mine. Is there? 100%. Yeah, definitely. I like how you're prepared. I I'm well prepared. Also, also what I think we need to do is a, a flop manager as well, yeah, by the can way. Can I have a... Pardon? Right, can I have um, a pen and paper, please? Yeah, right. So, I'll tell you what. Can while we... Stephen gets a pen and paper and works out his entire 11. Oh, do I get to go first? You can go first. You oh. can pick any position first. Let's perfect. just start rattling through. I'm not going to yeah. go, let's go. Well, go I'm, I'm going to go number right one. Because then people get first dibs and start kicking off. So just go, give me your first flop and I'll put it in your team. Number one pick yeah. on the, in the flop draft. Yeah. It's got to be Alexis Sanchez. Oh, man. It's got to be. That was mine. Not only, I mean, technically, did he cost anything? Some rumours say that it was a straight swap with Mkhitaryan. The other accounting says no, that it was it 30 won. million <laughs> went both ways yeah however he was our most exp it was it was our <laughs> you've had us in Barcelona yeah they just books are in the oven don't worry about that yeah ridiculous yeah. so so well, Sanchez right. oh, was God, our God. highest paid player ever at the time yeah I think he came in on 450 grand a week yeah the highest paid player in the Premier League has sort doctor's of, notes in this Ethan that's not very good has sort of Ooh, ruined yeah, the rage structure track. at United yeah. that we've not recovered from since yeah and was expected, like, I think the year before, not the full season, the full season before that, I would say him and Hazard were probably the best two players in the league that He year. was so fucking good, he? was he? amazing. Do you know clips up I got? And we came to us. Oh, mate, I and was with you. I think I might have yeah. retweeted and then unretweeted your video. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this awful. Disassociated myself with it. Awful. Yeah. So nah, I, was, I'm getting Alexis Sanchez in there straight away. He's the biggest flop ever for yeah, United. Because too. of the expectation. He tore us apart at the Emirates when he ended Matteo Damien's Premier League career. I thought he was going to push us towards the title. And other than that game against Yeovil, he was terrible. He was good against City as well in the 3-2. Yes, I'll give you that. He, yep. was, he, was, all, yeah, he was all right. So you've gone with Alexis Sanchez as your first one. So that 4-3-3, three, 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 I'm going to stick him on left wing for you. Perfect. That right? That's beautiful. Thank you very much. I bet you couldn't do an 11 of successes. No, I don't think you could. If we did this, we'll try this next week, we'll, but we're not going to do it each. We'll do one between us. Not doing us. it on the brewery, I'm not in two weeks of absolute No, no, all right. We're not, let's not get giddy. Like once, once a month is, is right. acceptable. Right, Stephen, you can go next. Any position, I'm just, we'll, we'll work it out as we go along. Don't work you look it, at Work it out with note. a pencil. Hey, I've got one. Falcao. Oh, oh, he's a free one. Steve's first choice is Steve's a free gone transfer. with a big man. He's on my list as well, but he's gone now, obviously. Do you know what I remember about that? John makes a, a flop. Go on. Expectation. Divided by... Expectation. Divided, divided by, by cost. By ability. Carried a two. Yeah. And how did it turn out? I think expectation plus cost times effectiveness. Times yeah. how good they look on a horse. Oh, uh, mate. Well, fucking... Yeah. Do you know how excited I was? Do you know what? Right. Do you remember that video you did when he came on? Just that little vine vid. I remember that. When Devils put it on uh, Instagram, it was just like Falcao's coming on. And I remember it was that thing, everyone just dead giddy. And he came on for the first I game. I had the shirt like, sir, you need to put your penis away. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Let's fuck it. Turn around, look. Yeah. And he was <laughs> like, so he did like one run or whatever, and everyone was like, oh, look at that run, look at that movement. Was it his final, his first goal at uh, Villa Park? Yeah. Let's just it's a moment we shall cherish for ages. When, I remember when, McCullough saying to me, that's the line where he slid after he scored. Oh, look. look at the oh, line. Mate. Skid mark. <laughs> Can we just have a look at Falcao? Well? Falcao skid mark. Just quickly. his United career. His United career, 26 games. Four goals. 29 go games, four goals, you know. Like, he was just... I, I forget he went to Chelsea. Yeah. He flopped harder at Chelsea than he did at United. You know when you saw he'd cut his hair off? I knew yeah. it was over then. Did you? Yeah, he'd it, it, proper Hercules I just, I just, I, Yeah, just, we've got a South America. Yeah, with and long flowing hair. He's man. amazing and in the air. And he's got like an aggressive good yeah. man sort of me, like... Me and my dad used nickname. to sit and watch YouTube highlights of just his headers. And he'd come in through there like horizontal over two defenders at Af once. Atletico, Unreal. Atletico Falcao is as good as any striker I've ever seen was. Is that your, your Super Cup performance where yeah, he's just... Yeah, he got a hat-trick. Battered yeah. Chelsea. Chelsea. Do you know yeah. what? Oh, isn't it weird though? Like Everyone thought he was done. And he wasn't. No, he went to Monaco and was he went excellent. to Monaco, remember when he like, saw City apart and he scored like, there was one season in Monaco, two seasons after he didn't Leppos. quite hit the same ratio, was it? There's one season. Porto, eight, uh, 72 Porto in 87 and yeah. 70 in 91. Nah, nah, he was that different. Is he was Bags unreal. Man. Bags man. And then United ruined him for a bit, but then he recovered. To the, he did a 30 goal season He won the Monaco. league with, with uh, Monaco. Yeah. I think he won the, he won the French Where, where did he end up? Where did he finish? I think he went back to South America. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, Sorry, Velcano. he went Real Velcano. Where yeah. he still plays to this day. Oh, yeah. Oh, this shit. Season. He he scored. He's almost scored more this season than he did for United. And how long ago was that? Nine years ago! <laughs> if those goals were at United, he'd be our second top scorer this season. He would. Who's yours, Jay? Um, <laughs> right. Because we have got 33 players to get through here. Right, all right. We'll, I, I hear you. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll go quickly. We'll go quicker. Um, I'm going to go I'm gonna go goalkeeper. I'm going to get it in early. I'm gonna go because you want to use on Nick it. I'm yeah. gonna go to Heber. Like, do you know what it is with Tiber? The reason he's a flop, right? It's not even because of his entire United career. He was man of the match at Anfield. People mm. forget that. And I went, I'm glad there wasn't YouTube then because I went big on him. <laughs> I went massive on this kid. Man of the match at Anfield. We beat the Scousers. He's going to be the best goalkeeper we've ever had. He lasted two more games mm. and then he was done. So I, I'm going with Massimo Tahibi as my first one. That's a decent shout, actually. Because I know what he used to. But mind you, we've got about 18 other keepers you can go through because we have had no luck with keepers. Go on, Joe, give us your Joseph, second um, one. Next letter. one. Oh, it's tough now because... Right. <laughs> right I actually know this isn't tough. This is go just on. a tap-in. Eric Bailly. Oh! oh! Sorry. Sorry what? to say it. Bro! He, he came in, so much hype, and had one really good season and never had a good season after that. Cursed with injuries, unfortunate physical specimen that just couldn't keep it together. But if, if I'm getting a defender in, unfortunately, Eric Bailly just... I thought, when I saw that first season from him, I thought, we've got our next fucking superstar here. Yeah. And he barely, you know, barely got a full season out of him you know what? I can that. give you that because he's so good. He's actually yeah. mint. He's a great player. Like, do you remember when we was in Thailand and we watched him against the Scousers? Yeah. He was a friendly. But he was unreal. He's amazing. He's so good, but he ne it never works out for him. So I I'll forgive you, even though he's a cult hero. Yeah. I'll forgive that one. Stephen, it's back to you. I I, I need a keeper. Yeah, yeah. I'm, worried about, I'm worried about. So it. I'm going. I'm going Bosnich. Oh, he was on my. He was on my list if I didn't get. Was him. he a free transfer as well? I think he was. You know, Mate, he came my Villa. flop list so far is free. Steve's just got, Steve's saving money. Steve's he's saving yeah. his money for the big guns. Like, he's <laughs> got a discount. Oh, imagine you have to do a flop with a budget. Oh, mate, with oh, a budget as well. We'd be screwed. He'd, he'd be laughing. He yeah. can throw in a few. Well, he can okay. throw in anyone post 2017. Um, he right, go he's, gone, uh, he's got his goal. So let's just throw it in there. You've gone from Peter Schmeichel, who Jay doesn't like to admit was Andy. He was Andy. He was amazing. He, I, he was one of the few actual world class <laughs> players we had at the time of us having he's, him he's one for of, multiple yeah, years. He's one he of the best like, ever players <laughs> in his position. He was. Across right. the whole he's in with a shout of being the best goalkeeper the Prem has seen. Yeah. He's in with a shout of being the best keeper the world has seen. He's, he's, he's in with a shout of being the second. Best, yeah. He's in with a shout of being the best United keeper. I still think Van der Sands better. I genuinely, I, I know Michael is good, but I still think Van der Sands better. That's just me. And um, like, change I'm, goalkeeping you know, with his big yeah. daft starfish and all that yeah. lot. Um, and his ability to throw it over the halfway line, not been seen since, No, wild. However, we replaced him with a smorgasbord. Chubby Aussie cokehead. Is that alleged cokehead? No, no. I think he's, you know, he just says it with his chest out. Does he do sniff? Just say I've done sniff. Does he actually? <clears throat> I'm going to say alleged cokehead. Really? Yeah, just, 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 just in case. Right. Okay. Alleged cokehead. What now? Still, or do you give up? I'm not. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Alleged former cokehead. Go on, son. Is it? 
Is it me or is, is it? Is it alleged father? I've uh, done. How many have you done? I've done two. Oh, have you? Oh, sugar. <laughs> it's me then. Right. Um, I'm you have to go. sugar on the Bosnich. <laughs> I'm going to know why I said sugar, like I was talking to my kids. Um, right. You know what? This is controversial. I'm going to go centre back. No. And you know what? I am going to go Phil Jones. Oh, so early. I am. Kicking while he's down. Do you know what it is? Right, now he's left, I can do it. I know he's still oh, on the coaching he's, staff. He's still but here. But it's the expectation, bro. He's still here. The expectation for Phil Jones was unlike any player I've ever seen. Ugh. He was touted as the best ever player by Fergie. Future England captain by Adam McCullough. He was talked about you know, like this guy the was going to be. He did play 200 and something yeah, games for us. But yeah, come on. Like he spent half his United career not playing yeah, for no, us or being poor. Like, if he'd have left in 2017 or whatever, you'd have gone decent. But he stayed for another five years. Oh, no, yeah. 2018, 19, sorry. He stayed for another four or five years doing nothing, basically. So yeah. I'm going to go Phil Jones. I'm sorry. Okay. But I'm not, like, I stuck up for Phil Jones all the time when he was going through it. I really did. But let's be honest about what we expected from him, what he delivered, and the way it panned out. We had three seasons of nothing. And wow. I know I've, I've gone from four to five to three seasons of nothing there. I realise what it was three seasons of nothing. Let's, um, let's come on. Let's start being honest about these things, right? It's your. I'm going to round out the goalkeepers, and I'm I'm torn between two here. Go on then. I'm, I'm, so tell you, I'm torn between. I'm torn. Uh, Tim Howard. Yes. Ah, uh, sacrilege. Go on. And Bartes. Wow. It's Tim. FA Cup winner or a league uh, the Premier League winner? I get that Bartes won the league, and you know Bartes had a season where he was genuinely elite. Okay. And then a season. Where he was genuinely turd. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the problem. I can't get over the bad says games against Arsenal. But I think I'm going to go Howard just because it. it was 2003 to 2006, seven. It yeah. was that lull. It was the famous Fergie lull, yeah. and Tim Howard was in there, and he was replaced by Van der Sar. Like, I, it just so didn't all, work out, did it? With Tim Howard, so keepers, we've in. all got our keepers. Well, I've got it out early because it's the least. So he beat yeah, Howard. Yeah, it's also it's also the least competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got only about seven. You've got early, right, Steve? Go on, any position you want to do. I think you've only got centre forward, so you can go right wing, left wing, centre back, right back, left back, obviously. However you want to do it. And I'll be, uh, yeah. Di Maria. Oh, oh yeah, it's a mate, classic. He was on my list. It's a classic, isn't it? Well, yeah, we'll put him on the right wing. Um, so at, when you look at his performances in a United shirt and uh, his stats, not a flop. Yeah. When you look at his attitude to the club, to the, the area, mm. yeah, to yeah, everything yeah. else, the fact that we ended up having to take a loss on him because he just went, fuck this gaff. Yeah. <laughs> He's a flop. Yeah, now nah, do you know what? You talk about expectation. Where do I put him? Do I put him in the 10 or do I put well, him? Yeah, well, it's 4 3 3, so let's, not have, let's have left, the right, and a striker. But you can, across the front three, I think we're going to be pretty malleable. I'm, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave his position to see where else I go. Oh, yeah, okay. Because I'll Cause let I'll, you have, He can play anyway. Do you know what? And if you're Louis Van Gaal, you can play him as a centre forward, because he did, because I saw that. Mm. That, that. That literally happened. Yeah, it did happen. More of that. Yeah, right. So yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to park my horses on where he plays, but he's, he's in the team. He's in the team. Listen, I know there's. Lots of people getting involved in the comments and chat, but I want to keep this moving and I will get back to them shortly or eventually. Um, right, go on then. It's you. Oh, is it me? <laughs> Already? You're after Steve. Did we time. give him the number seven as well? Big we time. Did, oh, well, I'm gonna, we'll do that at the end. Who's your number seven? Well, right. are we doing a whole show on a number seven flop draft? Mate, you could do, couldn't you? Is it just everyone post Ronaldo until Ronaldo mm. and then post Ronaldo again? Oh, including Ronaldo. Ronaldo second time around. Someone's asking about what about Tahibi and goal. I've got him, Darren. Right, striker. And Steve, I, I've got. A, I don't. I've never spoke to you about this kid, but I think you might get angry with me because he was a quite a. Uh, no, do you know what actually? Because it's my goal. I'm going to go Michael Owen. Wow. I'm going Michael Owen. Wait, who was you going to say? I was going to say Alan Smith because of the expectation. Also, what harsh. expectation did you have of Alan Smith? Because he came from Leeds. He was decent for him. He came into a team Leeds. that was absolutely rampaging through the Premier League, banging in seven goals against Rome, and it was all rosy. And then when you scratch beneath the surface, Honestly, he wasn't what? good enough. Uh, Joe, he hated Michael Owen. Who? Alan Smith. Did he? Did he? Yeah. So you know my mate Ben? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got family from uh, Otley, which as we all know is near Leeds. Leeds. Um, and I think, he, I'm sure he ended up um, having a fucking conversation with him. Um, <coughs> Ben's a weird guy, but he's, he's got some weird ideas on how he's going to talk to people and question them. And instead of being like, oh, what was your favourite, blah, 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 he goes, which player do you hate the most? 
Which is a great question, it isn't is it? Because you're going to get honesty. Now. Yeah. yeah. And he went, Michael fucking Owen. Fair Screwed really? his face up really? and hit him with it. And he was like, oh, shit. Why? Oh. Did he ever get to the... I think it was at Lillishaw together. Ah. And it was like... Golden boy. And if we can get you, Michael. Oh. Yeah. Like <laughs> Whereas... Because he was the... He was the golden child oh, of, of the English school's and rightly so, football association. And if anyone's going to come at me with a 4-3 goal, yeah, that's it. That's it also was got. a free transfer, which, which counts in and his favour. Do you know what, though, as well, right? And I bought, I drank the Kool-Aid with Michael Owen. We let Tevez go and Ronaldo. And then we brought in a Valencia who did all right, Obertsan, who was a flop, and Michael Owen. And we're like, we'll be all right. Owen will bang in mm. the goals. And he just, he, was, he just didn't do anything, really. Other than that goal against City, that was it. Are we keeping current players off this? No, 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 no. no, no. You can you do whatever you want, bro. Okay. It's you. Pick future this players. Is, this is you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flops you haven't even signed yet. <laughs> Start naming names. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's a big call. Yeah. yeah. You Prove me wrong. You could do it, though. You just scouted him. You just scouted him. We signed him for another 50 million. He's on the list. I'm yeah. putting it. Yeah. I'm going big on Victor Rossi, man. What? Um, right, who's next? It's you, innit? No, it's me. Oh, it's you. Sorry, go on. I'm doing really well with this. He goes like that. Right. And then round. Counterclockwise. Donny yeah. van der Beek. Oh, bro. He was on my list. Gotta go in there. He, he was on my list. 40 million quid. You know, what What was it? 20th in the Ballon d'Or list. Hugely yeah, rated. 23-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has barely even played for us, let alone no, that you is, know, done anything. I'm sorry. He, that is a great shout. I don't shout. think he's had a good game. I think you're right. He scored a, a couple season. of goals. And do you know what it is with van der Beek? He didn't finish games. No, when he was me. actually playing, he played an hour. Yeah. I've never seen a player play fewer games United, fewer good games United, and yet develop such a cult following as Donny yeah. van der Beek. And I feel bad like, for him. His name was getting chanted week in, week out. Like People were actually going on the internet and saying, drop Bruno, <laughs> who'd scored 30 goals or something in 50 games, <laughs> and play Donny van der Beek. Yeah. Like, that was an argument people were making, and they weren't even drunk. No. And people were agreeing with him. It was crazy, and he's just not good enough. We even, I honestly think we only got to Nagin just to get the best out of van der Beek. Yeah. And it's <laughs> worked. It has worked. <laughs> Go on, Steve. That's, a, that's a good... Oh, oh he's gone for the He's not even on my list. He's, Pogba, gone, I, he's not even on my what? potential list. That is, that is, that is disgusting. Nah, do you know what, though? No, Steve, come on. Preach, brother. No, Give it us, because people will be going. Paul Pogba, he was a top, top player. Talented. I'll give you. What we signed, Josef, yeah. was a cultural icon. We had an announcement video with fucking Stormzy. That was cool. Right? When you talk about expectation, I don't think we've signed a player post Fergie with more expectation True. than Paul Pogba. This was a boy who was in the FIFA Pro World Eleven. Yeah. This is a player that came for a world record fee. Yeah. This is a player who's got his own line of boots. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this is a player who led in stats. Um, but never once connected to the club that he came through. You've seen the bollocking he was getting in some of his last games from the Stratford end. There was no connection with but Paul Pogba. People were not having him. People were mad at him. I, I agree with everything Did you said. Did he meet the expectation? No. That's why he's in the list. But, but which makes him a marginal flop. But to say he's one of the biggest flops, I think he had... World record fee. Probably... 30 to 40 good games for United and probably a handful of amazing games for United. Most other people on this list haven't done that. I think the thing with Pogba that surpasses everyone is the expectation. Yeah, that's the thing. That, that is, is the he thing. He was That's the, why he is the expectation. Yeah. yeah. He, he, there's no one There's on players this list. we've signed for a tenth of that month yeah. Yeah. that have got nowhere near a tenth of his level of performance no. in a United shirt out of him. Yeah. But we expected so much from uh, This yeah. is the saviour. Yeah. We've just signed, we've just got Jose fucking Mourinho. Oh, no. yeah. And we've just paid a world record no. fee for one of the like, best players in the world. Yeah, get it. Straight that off. guy didn't show up. Yeah. Mateus Pogba showed up. No. Yeah. And put a fucking curse on him. Yeah. Like, and when you see where his career's gone from here. I, I, the expectation for me, I can't argue with it. I think there's mm. worse players, obviously, than Paul Pogba, but that's not the point. This is the flops. Mm. What did we expect? What did we hope for? What, did, what was he capable of? He was capable of so much more. So even though he's not in my team, I understand where Steve's coming from. Right, I'm going to go for my... Um, why have I done that twice? I'm losing the plot. Um, for my CM, I'm going to go with Morgan Schneiderman. Yeah, decent. Because I'm sorry, right? I defended this kid week in, week out for about six months. He didn't do anything, did he? No, he didn't. He was ready salted oh, no. as fuck. He was. He yeah. was just nothing. 
And like, I, eventually I got fed up with it. I was like, do you know what? Maybe everyone who's saying he's crap, he's right, and he is. <laughs> My mate was a coach at Southampton when we signed him. He went, he's a future England captain, him. <sighs> what? Really? Wasn't he sad, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it just sad that to hear that? That would have been Francis' loss. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Morgan Snyderlin. There's in so there. many people not going to have got yeah, that yeah, joke, yeah, but yeah. whatever. Um, <laughs> go, go on, bro. Got to be Jaden Sancho, isn't it? <gasps> yeah. I mean, it looks... I, obviously, he's not left yet, so that's why I, I, I'm... Are you playing him on the left? How many people in the comments yeah. immediately didn't get that? Loads of people. I'm loads No, 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 actually, people got it. People know it's not too bad. Really? Ross, no one's really going on about it. No one's mentioning it. Did you not hear what I said? No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Schmidfield says Dylan End, what a time to be alive. I oh, know. I can't put Schweinsteiger in here, though. No, that performance against the Scousers, no, I think you dare. Could. I think you could. dare. I think you could. That is argument. the best performance I've seen at Old Trafford in my lifetime. You've, you've eulogised about that performance so much to the point where now you are just saying nonsense about it. <laughs> <laughs> but he started off I remember he started off he actually had a really good game that day and not a lot of people noticed it now it's like he's the best the greatest like yeah, he's, he's gone basically like yeah. Joaquin Turin Robo Barcelona and above, and above all of that he's Schweiz Dagger Scousers like he had a slightly underrated game yeah do you know what? It's it it probably it. like man yeah, of the match worthy. Yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm still not. Not t shirt worthy. I have yeah, never yeah. got over the fat match of the day and didn't even address it yeah, in their post match analysis. I have never forgiven him because all he focused on was Martial. Right. Uh, right. You're but, right. But I, I'm, I'm still. I'm, you know me. I'm still getting yeah, my guns on that one. Um, but with Jaden Sancho, it looks like he's going to leave. So yeah. we, I know he hasn't left and he could still turn it around theoretically. But the odds of him sticking around, re, you know, rehashing things with yeah. Ten Hag, seem almost zero. Yeah. There's so much expectation, so much money, chased him for two years. And, he's, and again, you know, he's not really... I've put him on the right, right for you because you've, okay. um, you've got Sanchez. So you've got Sanchez, you've got um, Sancho, Steve, yep. you've got Di Maria, um, you've got Pogba. You've got um, the goalkeeper as well. You've gone with Matt Bosnich, and you've got Falcao as well, I think. Um, yeah. yeah, so so it's Steve. back to Stephen Housen. I'll go, while you're thinking... Imagine go on, go this. On. Go on. We just lost the league. Okay. Because it's, it's actually wild. We, all, we obviously sold Ince, Hughes and Konchelskis. Yeah. Free, first choice very close if not bang on world class players Hughes is a bit older but you know, no, in, I, I, I agree, yeah. I he's, agree he's, on, he's on the cusp of world class if he's not world class nah, yeah. and Konchelski is probably world class at the time right? 34 goals in two seasons um, I mean we signed no one <laughs> is that are you putting them in Oh. You're putting no well, one no, in? Well, no, because we won the fucking double that year. <sighs> so, but how mental is that? No, yeah. do you know what's even oh, more? Yeah, by the way, even more mental? Cantona suspended, signed no one. No, do you know what's even more mental? That do you know who we did sign? People forget. Who? Tony Colton. Was it that summer? Yeah. Pretty sure we signed Tony Colton for half a million quid <laughs> as, our, as our third stroke, second choice goalkeeper. Well, it was the glue. <laughs> Jeez. Imagine now. Or someone was on fucking Imagine glue. we sold like... Yeah, we just missed out on the league. I know we don't. All right, um, I'm going. Players and second choice I'm going. Carol Poborski. Oh, I thought I'd get away with that one. I thought I'd, I thought I was gold. Do you know why he was a flop? Because David Beckham existed. Otherwise, he was probably all right. Mm, no chance there. But like, he came for five mil, something like that. So it was, was big was, though. It was you know relatively big though. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that goal for the Czech Republic. Because Fergie went to a game in the Euros and went, Ooh, that, like, he scored like the goal of the tournament in the Czech Republic, where he scoops it over the keeper. Everyone was raving about it. I think we've done the deal before the, the tournament. Right. Ooh, okay, but yeah, but yeah. it's a great narrative. It is a great narrative. Um, <laughs> but it, it, let's be honest, it was fucking shit. He was. And you know what I love about that? He was shit and he's got a title with his medal. <laughs> like, that's what we used to do. Everyone did. He was then, terrible man. and he won a title. Yeah. Like, Min, now we can have the best player in the world and he won't win anything. Yeah. And then back in the day, you could get someone who was garbage week in, week out and he gets a medal. Well, you're like, what? If you've only got two Premier League trophies. Yeah. You must have been shit. <laughs> that's what like, I mean. how is that's that? That, I mean. that was the standard. I think Boborski literally was at the club for two years and won like one medal, then one title, and then left in his halfway through his second season. Go on then, Jay, what you got? Um, right, I'll go. Do you know what? This is horrible. Hmm. Right, I'm, I'm nasty in it, me now. This is really, this is mean. And this is someone who came through the academy, but wow. it's the hype. 
it's the hype and I've got to go with it because of the hype. Academy player. Because I'm going with the hype on my list. Go on then. Sweet baby Jesus and the orphans. I'll give you a clue. He had a chant that everyone sung week in, week out. Yan as I. Got it in one. I'm sorry, Adnan. I loved you. That's ya, tough. But that. Like you love Nando's. Yeah, like you love Nando's with Angelina Kelly, occasionally. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> he, um, I'm sorry. We thought he was going to be the next yeah. Ronaldo. And I thought he, he was going to save Moyes' career. He conned us with those, that brace against Sunderland yep. and one or two other games. And it was like, build a team around this kid. And for about two and a half years, he was bang average. Mm. And then he left. Yep. I'm sorry, Adnan. <clears throat> Forgive me. And there's probably a day in the future of this channel where you'll be on here and I'll introduce you to United Legend and say how much I loved you. But... For this video right now, I've got to be honest, you're on my list. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, right, who's next? Me. Go I'm going to go uh, Shinji Kagawa. <gasps> Just didn't do Joseph. Out. Just didn't do out. He was half decent the year we won the title, but no more than that, and didn't do a single thing afterwards. He was meant to replace Wayne Rooney. Couldn't lace his boots. Next. Right, I'm going to put him... Centre mid. All oh, right, okay, yeah. yeah. Right, so you've got Kagawa. The yeah. thing with Kagawa as well is... He's a typical player who was min, who had it in him. We saw it when he got that tricky against, was it Norwich? Norwich. And yeah, didn't work out. Was so a fucking good, Joe. Oh, no. Right, if you're having a mental one, I'm having a mental one. Come on. Gerard PK. Oh, oh. He's on my list. He was on my list as well. That is saucy. Joe, why is a flop? Go on, I want to hear this we sold one. him, and within about a fortnight, he won <laughs> everything, everything and yeah. started banging Shakira. I know. I know. Here's why? what you could have won, United. Why everything. We could have won the World Cup, Joe. I know. It's disgusting. <laughs> come, I can't agree with We've more. got, <laughs> we've parked this little fucking loon on the bench for Johnny Evans and gone, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, fuck him up. Yeah, yeah, get rid of him. <laughs> and, and what then happens then? Oh, he's the bedrock of what's been called yeah. the greatest football side ever. Oh, he's one of the, the greatest yeah. national side ever. And he's firing <laughs> balls into Shakira on a fucking <laughs> weekly basis. What the fuck, man? I know. He, okay, again, he might even be captain of this team. Arguably one of the was, best ever centre backs. I didn't know what was in our hand. I know. That's good. That's isn't a, it? That, you know when you when you explain it like that. That is the definition of what you can class as a flop because but I actually, he I actually flopped, the, but not because of him. him it's the probably club, because the club of flopped. Yep, the club yeah. flopped. Yeah. flopped it. Club flopped. It. Um, who's next? You, me. Right, I'm gonna go. Do you know what? I'm gonna go left back, yep. and I'm gonna go. This is controversial, but I'll explain. It's gonna be Gabby Hines, isn't it? No, I, I get your him. point because he broke my heart. I'm gonna go Alex Tellers. You know, oh, he's on mine as well. I am, I am because that's not controversial. The expectation, this was a guy who banged in free kicks, could take corners, looks like he was, you know, a different type of left back than mm. what we had with Luke Shaw or Brandon Williams. He was going to be this, he was going to be that. And occasionally he turned up, but he was the one of those players that when he had a stinker, bro, he had a stinker. Yeah, do you remember Jared he Bowen dropped, against West Ham? Yeah, Just yeah. Just absolutely tore him like, to shreds. Like, you know when you, like, Horrible to play watch. with your kids in the garden or whatever, you, like, knocked the ball past him and then round, went round him that way. <laughs> it was like he took a detour to go round him because he had that much time. Yeah. It was horrible. And, and there was a game against Villarreal, I think, where he scored. But until his goal, he was abysmal. Yeah. So he's on my list. We yep. thought he was going to bring a new dimension to the team. And amazingly, he got to 50 appearances for us. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he got to. I remember like there was a, a thing he put a tweet out where it's like, you know, 50 games and you're like, Jesus Christ, how far have we, how far have we fallen? Go on, and Joseph, it's you next. Um, it's your seventh player. Is it? Is it? I'm not sure. Um, it's so organised. Again, based on hype and yeah. the fact that he was meant to be the better one, I'm going to go Fabio. Oh, I knew he was going to say that. Well, it might be a bit right back. Yeah, no, left back. Left back. It might be a bit harsh. He wasn't that bad, but he he's was... competing with a bulletproof Paddy Avra. Yeah. Meanwhile, Raphael's sitting behind a patched up, barely still keeping it going, Gary Neville. Yeah. And I think one of them played like 18 games, won 100 and something. Yeah, I think yeah. He, he was slightly lucky, but he played did work out. Played in the Champions out. League final as well, didn't he, bro? Yeah. Hey, if people forget that. That game where they played them right wing and left wing was fucking... We, we all thought Fergie's lost the plot and we won. Was that the Wolfsburg game? No, no it was Arsenal. Arsenal. <laughs> but Arsenal, and this was when Arsenal were good. Yeah. Wow. We had some. Ma Fergie just went whatever yeah. to, to Arsenal and put in some fucking all star performances. They, they couldn't do it, could they? They just couldn't beat no. us. Remember we beat him 4 0 and he rested a load of players. <laughs> Ronnie's not playing. 8 2, go look at the side that beat him 8 2. It's well, mental. That 8 2, some of them could be in this list. Isn't like Welbeck, Cleverly, Cleverly Ashley, Ashley Young. Young. Did Anderson start that game? Yeah. Don't know if he did, actually. I think he did, yeah. I remember in a free kick. 
him, him staring yeah. at the keeper. It was, it was mental. Uh, go on, Steve, because this is going to take us all afternoon. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, we're all right. Um, we're powering I'm, through. Okay? I'm yeah. going Owen Hargreaves to partner Paul Pogba. Right. You're joking. <laughs> expectation. No, I'm not right? that one. Now, unlike Paul Pogba, who <laughs> arrived with expectation, Owen Hargreaves didn't arrive with expectation. He set the expectation. By being good for Man United. Yeah. That, no, you can't have that. No, because do what he did. He, he tugged us off over our pants and won and, us a Champions and, League and then left us but he you was semi up nah, he was integral for can't. the Champions League yeah, and Premier League yeah. you can't and, have him as and a then we, it took us years to actually find him I think that one Paris. season gets him out of I the I completely category. agree he's I think, never a flop I, think, I, I understand I, I think it's because of just uh, what, so after that Champions League final did he play what four minutes yeah but yeah. and that's where my, expecta- my expectation was like I can't believe if he'd have been fit for that second Champions League final, we'd have won it. We'd have won the lot. The lot. He's going in my list. Nah, I would have had him, but it's his list. It's Bastard. his team. He's done it. He's put him in. Expectation. I've... Did we get our money's worth? Probably. We might have done actually. Yeah. Yeah. Of course we did. <laughs> Bro, we've spent a billion. Eighteen million we've quid. Spent a billion there was a, there, trying to win anything like that. There was a line in United <laughs> We Stand, which is Achilles tendons can't cope with how much running he does. There's not an Achilles tendon on the planet that could cope with how much running he does. <laughs> It's a great line that. Uh, I'm not having it, but it's his, his list. I agree. Um, really also, I couldn't think of any other midfielders that I really, really wanted to put in. Right. I've got a good list here. Right, okay. For What's my... the comment saying? Am I getting abused for that one? Uh, it's not that I kind of expected. Uh, man123 uh, says, Hargreaves is crazy, WTF. Yeah. Ross Murphy says, understand where he's coming with Pogba, but not Hargreaves. Demiz Mob says, I don't like Hargreaves. Right. So, um, David O'Connor says, Hargreaves, better than be on the rum, Steve. Hargreaves <laughs> is a proper, like, uh, if you're a teacher, it's a great surname to shout at. Hargreaves! Hargreaves, here, now! Even better Isn't the way it? you did it. Um, right, I'm going to go for another midfielder cool. my 4 3 3, and I'm going to throw in Cleberson. Yeah. Not only did he win the World Cup, right? This kid won the World, won the World Cup, hit the bar in the final. Luis Sc- uh, Scolari said he was the most important player in the Brazilian team. And I drank the Kool-Aid with him Fuck as well. Fuck me, yeah. You I'm, and Fergie. Yeah. You've, you've had a big belly full of Kool-Aid. I have, man. Time. I was like, <laughs> yeah, man. We're going to dominate with this kid in midfield. No. If I ever move into a double glazing sale, Jay's house is the oh, first mate. one I'm going I, My there. missus is going to get over. She's going to have no walls. Just but you're going to be like, we've got double glazing. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to have more. <laughs> we've got more. Steve sold me more. Like, honestly. But he said it was called double yeah. glazing. Yeah. We said we don't even oh, need any same, doors anymore. Bastard. Yeah. Honestly, bro. I thought, yes. He's going to be mint. Yeah. And I remember watching him at one point, and I might have been a little bit drunk or whatever, but thinking, is that the right guy? Like, have we signed the right one? <laughs> have we signed a mistake? Yeah. Like, he can't be the kid that we was playing for Brazil and was tearing it up. Yeah. Like, this has got to be like his, his brother or something we've, we've dropped a, a bollock. Yeah. Because he was shocking. Yeah. He was. He had like three good games out of 40 or whatever, but he was poor. Yeah, I'm going to Joe. Uh Joe. Again, this is a tough one, but if we go to the Paul Pogba excuse, Veron. <laughs> Oh, no. He was the most, I think, behind Zidane, one of the most expensive players ever. Yeah. He was considered the best centre mid in the world. He was. But at United, we didn't see the best midfielder in the world, even no. close. I can um, give you that. We did on some games. Some though. games. That makes it worse, though, doesn't yeah. it? Doesn't it make enough. it worse? It does. When you see how good Do he is. Do you know what, as well? He's amazing. Manchester Derby, he was fucking class. Yeah. Yeah. He's he a great player. He was a fucking angry little yeah. twat. He was yeah. still playing until about five weeks ago. You know? I know he was. I know. And he was like, those games where he was min, like in Europe when he fancied it. Yeah. He was unreal. Do you know what I mean? Arguing with David Beckham, but, taking free kicks off him. You're like, yeah. what are you doing? Then he'd score. But didn't he, he cost us like 15% of our total turnover for a year. Yeah. And had about eight good games. Nah, he it's was a flop, He was it? one. Right, Veron, Steve, back to you, is it? Is it? I'm going, yeah, I'm going the right way. So, Steve, we need... Um, Bebe. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to move Dimaria to the 10. Simple. And I'm going to throw Bebe in. Why Bebe? Well, where did that money go? I already no. play in the homeless World Cup, by the way. If you got and why is there a homeless World now Cup? Then, I've got you why, is got there a, why are we willing to fly these people for a competition but not give them a fucking night? I'm going to have to, right, I'm gonna have to play gonna deeper keep... for you here. What? I'm going to have to... Right, oh, right. The way you've done it, right? I'm putting him in your midfield just for my sanity. Um, right, Bebe. It, was there any expectation there, though? It cost 8 million quid. Yeah. Winning the homeless World Cup, does that really make everyone think... Well, no, but that's it? a mad fucking... Who else has won it? It's a chunky fee as well for someone that's got no career to speak of. Yeah. Like, I mean, the, the expectation, uh, 8 million wasn't world record fee at the time, but it was more than the one game he played or something. Yeah, yeah nah, he was, he was, I think, nah, he played about, I think he played eight games or something and scored. How many did he start? 
he flops. I'm not going to defend him. He flops. I just think the and also it was like flop. we've paid eight million for the new Portuguese wonder kid. Bye bye. Yeah. Right. Bye bye. And then was it Vissoria Gomares we bought him from someone like that? Someone and like they that. went. I've got knowledge, you kid. We got free. Yeah. Nah, I don't and we were like, that. we paid eight. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, we got three, and we were like. Don't worry about it. Goodbye. We're going to hang up now. Yeah. See you later. We paid so off. Is that, a, is that, I don't know who is that a new house you've just bought there, Carlos Queiroz? I don't know who the fuck we paid off. <laughs> well, that was not hey, worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was all above board. I have complete faith in the management of Manchester United during that period. Um, it's you. Oh, it's me. Right. I'm going to go with, I think I need a, a right, mate, I need a right winger. Yeah, I'm putting him in there. Andy Burnham. Memphis. Nice. You did that joke to his face. Oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, a charity football match. Even better. While well, you were managing him. Um, I'm going to go with Anthony. Like, come on. No. He's got... The only thing he's it's got not going right, for him that, is he can turn this around, right? But if you were to catalogue his career at United so far, it couldn't have been any more disastrous. Nah, that's not right. Like, it really has been an absolute shambles pretty much from start to finish other than the purple patch when he first got here right. he went about six months without a goal and assist in the Premier League I know he did well against Barcelona in the Europa mm. then this season he's got no goals he's got no assists he was out of the team for a while while he's dealing with some legal issues to, to put it nicely he's just been a, a complete horror show and he might end up costing Eric Tonight his job because that's an indefensible but, signing but other than that other than that he's been meant <laughs> he's been alright yeah okay <laughs> So I'm going. You need a striker, by the way. Yeah, I'm just going to pull the pull the trigger, Ronaldo, the second but, one. But no, no, look, second look, time I can't in here. Well, you can pick him if you want. No, I'm, I'm going to go now. Cristiano Ronaldo the second right. time. People will be going berserk because well, people will be saying Joseph, and I'll, I'm waiting for it. 18 Premier League goals in his last season. Cool. His last full season. Cool. Awful. We had an awful season. I'm not yeah. blaming him for that entirely, but we scored less goals than we did the year before we bought him. So he didn't help us score more goals. Yeah. The manager got sacked. We had our worst ever finish, some of our yeah. worst ever results. He fell out with everyone. He got, what was it? Suspended for walking off um, by Ten Hag. Came out and did an interview slagging off the club and the manager. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else happened? The expectation was also a player that had just got, what was it, a goal a game for Juve with like 103 goals in 101 games. And we signed him and didn't get any of that. Yeah. And all he did was slightly sour his legacy. Like, I just think compared to what we thought we were getting to what we got, it just wasn't it. We thought we were going to go from second to first. It went from second to seventh or whatever it was. It just didn't work. It was a bad signing. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out. And I think it only hurt Ronaldo and Man United. All right. When you put it like that, I can I can buy into it. I wouldn't have had him on my list, but I understand your point of view. Um, Stay. you need a left back if you want to give me one of them. Or you can give me a centre back. Or you can give me a right Aaron back. Aaron Maguire. Aaron Maguire, that's centre a, back. That's obscene. It's not obscene, is it's it? Obscene. It was the world's most expensive defender. And I think this is <laughs> at a time. That's obscene. That's obscene. Um, <laughs> I, I, it was obscene, you're right. And I think at a time when we'd just seen the transformation of what Van Dyke did to Liverpool, some of us might have deluded ourselves into thinking, it's going to yeah. happen. That's how us. it works, football. If you spend more than um, another team has spent on their player who's good, the your player's better. Yeah. That's, how, that's literally how it works. But that sounds mental in hindsight. Yeah. But there was an expectation that United might kick into gear the way Liverpool nah, I hear that. on the back of that side. The, the, the and it didn't happen. And mm. um, you know, this isn't condoning any of the shit that he's got. But like we're allowing mediocre performances now. It's been like he did all right, he did all right. Yeah. He's currently third choice footballer at the club, arguably fourth, might even be fifth. He's, he's Luke currently fifth. first choice centre back actually. Okay, that's because everyone currently, else currently. is broken biscuits. Yeah. He but if, if if anyone was even sixty percent fit, right. I would be on the bench. He's mm. been behind free transfer Johnny Evans this season in terms of level of performance. Mm, don't know if I'd agree with that overall. But also, he was captain for two years when we had improving form. We did. Th third, second. But he still never hit £80 million pound signing form. Yeah. There's not a lot of centre halves I can To be fair, from. there's not. I was struggling with defenders. There's a few and, that we've you know, missed. It's but. a lower bar than, than some on this list. Yeah. But I think because he's not of the been a disaster, I don't think. He's not been as bad as some. No. Okay. You know, he's I not mean, been far cap sad, but I'll hear it. or Bebe. But, you know, I'll, I, I think he has to be on the list. At £80 million, the world's most expensive defender. We'd, like when we've done that previously, it was Yap Stam, hmm. uh, Rio Ferdinand, Rio and Gary Pallister. And I think we got performance out of those yeah. akin to the price. And, and I don't think we have out of Barry. Who are the most expensive defenders in the world now? Is it, is it Maguire and Wesley Fafana? 
Are they yeah, one and two? Another so. one who's both eighty. Leicester are eight. laughing, mate. I know. <laughs> One hundred and sixty million for those two. Like whether you like Maguire or not, he ain't worth eighty million. Although Leicester are laughing, they are Relegate. in the championship. Yeah, they are in the championship. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, sold all the best players. Whoever's, whoever's got laughing from now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whoever's pocketing that money is laughing. Who's <laughs> yeah. laughing now? I don't well, think Leicester. Well, not us actually, but you know, the bank account is. Yeah, exactly. Go on, Jay. We bought them a new training ground. I'm going to go early on right back before any of you lot get in and go Matty or Damien. Because I knew you both had him. I knew you both had him. He's the obvious one. He's a tap in. He was. Uh, he came with a little bit of hype as well, you know. He did. People yeah, thought, and his hype was on the back of his debut. Yeah. Because oh, he had a debut true, where everyone true. was like telling Gary Neville, calling it here right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Be here forever. Yeah. So I know if I didn't if I didn't get him in first, I'd have to do some stuff I don't want to Okay. Do. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to move basically. You know, you've got them players that have played centre back or right back. I'd have to pick a, a guy who's been decent at centre back, but not good at right back. And I've had to put him there. Yeah, well, I've got to put someone at, at right back now. Go on, then. Um, yeah, because uh, yeah, I can't risk him getting taken. Again, based <coughs> on his debut, Alexander Butner. Came in, oh, scored shit. a goal. You put him like, at right back? It's my I'm last gonna two have picks. To. I'm okay. just going to have to. Because it was the sort of like, oh, my God, this transition from Patrice Evra into hell yeah, yeah, might not yeah. be as bad as we thought. Oh, no, mm. it is as bad as we thought. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, Alexander Butner. It wasn't. To be fair, you could probably pay, play Ra Fabio at right. And but yeah, put Fabio right. right. That but makes no, more sense on the left. Yeah. But I get you. I'm not trying to be in all that. I get your point. Um, yeah. So, you, oh, mate, it's mad in it because the thing with Butner is, I will say, I have never been. I went to his press conference when he was announced, mm. and um, he looked shocked he was at United. Yeah. <laughs> like genuinely, he was sat in his press like this. Yeah. Like, Stunned. Stunned. Because don't forget, this was Fergie boy. <coughs> this wasn't Louis van Gaal getting 18 players in a window. Or Remember what, them heady days. Yeah, or Ten Hag buying all his mates. This was Sir Alex Ferguson buying a left-back to either replace or be an understudy to one of the greatest left-backs in the world. Yeah, It was amazing. And he was like, what is going on? Go on, Steve. I'm stuck, mate. Right, we need a left-back. Have you got a left-back from you? For you? They don't have to be a left back, just a defender. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for a left back and a right back, and I am struggling. Yep. You've got some. I'm circling Henningberg, but he was a centre half, so he'd We're be another one. He's been on the brew. You can exactly, so. Without. That's not happening. I'm, I'm circling him. Um, There's certain people that don't play well at left back when they're forced to play there. You could try that one. Oh, like Delu. He's a good le right back. You might argue that at left back, the kid, it's not happening for him. Or you it might. It feels a bit of a reach to put him in a flop. Or you could, yeah. But if you're gonna um, run out of players, talk about that. Yeah, I really am running out of players. Mm. You could uh, argue, I, you know, we, my other options. I'll give you some. Get involved. Give Steve a heads up on left back, right? Let's hear what you've got to say because I was gonna. I was thinking actually, Regulon, honestly. That's harsh, fucking hell. But he's brought in to be an understudy. No, United. And then he's been United injured. signed a Qatari once. No, really. He never played for us. You paid quarter of a million for one in the same window that we signed um, Ricardo and Rio. We also signed uh, Hussein Yasser from right, Al Rain. You, you, you're not having him. They put him in. No, he's not. He's an attacking midfielder for starters. Right, so. people are saying as Ash if you don't know that you fucking absolute casual. Ash Varela, Ashley Young, the lat. Ashley Young. Uh, Black, uh, Can't have Ashley Young. In. He no, wasn't no. signed as a right back. But yeah. Lynn, he was shit as a right Borthwick back. Borthwick Jackson, Rojo. He was an academy. Well, we put Rojo in. Kieran Richardson did play left back at one point. These aren't where they're yeah. playing them. They're, um, a shit lot of there? people say Rojo. Where they came from. Um, Varela's another oh, one. Oh, Marvin Gabby Hines. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a shout out. And tell us why. I'm having Gabby Hines because he came in. I fell in love it was amazing. with this crazy little bastard. Yeah. yeah. And then he went, I want to play for Liverpool. Yeah. It was so we went, sad. Fuck you. He was yeah. so aggressive and just up for it every single minute of every single game. That's a great Walking shout yellow out, yeah. card. And it was, it hurt. Because it was like, this guy's perfect. And then yeah. we got ever out of it. But yeah, I was so into him when he first signed as well. He was winning. Won yeah. How many left backs win player of the year? I don't happen. Centre back. No. I'm going to go and listen. All right, we got on with him in Vegas and he's in some pictures. But let's have it right. This guy was poor for United. Who are you going with? David May. Oh. I'm sorry, Steve. He was. What was the expectation? He'd just been at Blackburn. It was a coup when we got him. It was like we're buying a player out of our title contender's first team and throwing him into ours. Mm. That is like us going out in, I don't know, 2006 and getting John Terry. I know it's not at all. But 
<laughs> That's the biggest overstatement anyone's ever made on this channel. But there was expectation there, and he was poor. I'm sorry, I'm putting him in. There we go. I don't care how nice he was, was, was in Vegas. He's going he was in nice. There. And he was, he's all right. After two. When did you hang out with David May? We were on stage because, with him. Because we didn't take your approach of, I'm going to get on stage and start ribbing the people I'm on stage with. We took the approach of, let's chat to him before we get on stage with him, find out something about him. Because when we was we on stage with him? In Vegas. Oh, I chose the... No, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you weren't sticking up for David May there, were you? When well, you no. Went, Hence why I said, I'm not going on stage with him. Yeah. You refused to go on stage <laughs> with him. He was actually pretty sound. Yeah, but he, nice. I don't think he was good for United, so he's, he's in my list. Okay, I'm going to... I mean, we've got to rattle through Two a few of these. Jay. Santa Not says, <laughs> David May won us the 1996 title. He scored that goal, right, <laughs> there you go. at, at the Riverside. But he didn't win us the title, no, notch, and you know he didn't, right? No, no. Sorry, go on. Uh, I uh, yeah, I'm gonna put Lauren Blanc in there. Oh, you've nicked well. That's it. We're out centre half. Centre back. Yeah. So Go on. Got... People will be going. He's... The hipsters will be going. How can you have Larry yeah. White Power as you call him, um, which is one of the best things I've ever heard. Explain yourself. Well, I mean, it's, it just replaced someone who he wasn't as good as. Yeah. So immediately that that doesn't look good. He had this like air of like, yes, he's slow. Yes, he's past it. But it doesn't matter because he's so cool and he's so good on the ball. Yeah. But we didn't do very well while he was there, mostly. Yeah. Like, Can you hear your facts? Like no. he, he's good and he is cool and he is good on the ball. And I like how he wore his little socks really low. But he didn't play that well for Manchester no, he United. Yeah. He didn't. He was Jack Grealish in it before Jack Grealish. Yeah, yeah exactly. He, and and he was like replaced by a better player Grealish. and he was... He, he preceded a better player, or he was preceded by a better player, and it didn't work out. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a player that won right the league with us. You. I'm gonna a player that won the league with us, and then won the league elsewhere. And he was absolute flop city. Wow, Richie wow. Dillat. Oh, oh nice. yeah. do you know what? Richard himself. That's a cheeky one, that Stephen. Richie Dillat. I always got a soft day. spot for Richie Dillat because he signed me mum and dad's anniversary card in Clinton's once when I bumped into him. <laughs> And they were absolutely dumbfounded <laughs> when yeah. they got that card. Anyway, happy anniversary. There's one from me and Richie Dillat. Richie Dillat. I remember my dad opening it. He went, because he did a proper, like, you know, big signature, big autograph. And he went, who's that? I went, see if you can guess. <laughs> and he had about, he literally was like, he, he went through a list like this yeah. and came to Richie Dillat, last pick. He did. He was like, he went through the phone book. And then he was like, right, I think we're getting near the end. I think um, it's me now. I need a midfielder. Mm. And then I think that might be that. Really? Unless I've made a bit of a mistake. I think that's it, right? So my other midfielder, oh, do you know what? I'm going to go, it's, it's so shit this, because I'm going I'm, I'm to end up doing the obvious one. And I didn't want to do it. What now, do you need? A midfielder. Have you got one for me? Yeah, there's a few. Go on, who have you got for me? There's actually a few. I've got the Jemba, but I don't want to put Jemba, him in. You could, I've What was got, the expectation? That's what I mean. It seems like it's, I'm just. You could him. argue Fred. 50 million quid. Nah, man, French not. was a lot of money. Uh, we pit pep to him and we were like, what a yeah. coup. Also, in terms of expectation to what he actually delivered, Anderson, 30 million quid. The golden boy. The golden boy. And Gerard on a lead at Anfield. And that was about it. Scored in the penalty shootout against Chelsea. He had a black card at Birdcage. Yeah. Why? <laughs> but he, so, he underwhelmed. Yeah. When you think of his potential and his price tag, he was, he was 30 million quid do for you know, an 18 do you know why, year old. Do you know why? Do you know why I'm going to fuck Anderson in? Right? I love Anderson, but I think any player that leaves United in their mid-twenties and ends up needing oxygen mm. at the side of the pitch in their next game hasn't really made a success of it. Yeah. Like, he went from scoring a vital penalty in the shootout in Moscow to being too unfit to play football anymore. So, just for the sake of it, I'm going to stick him in. I love the kid. He was a golden ball, boy winner. But, uh, yeah, it, it went horribly wrong. And, I've, and people go, well, he won four titles, whatever. But, like, let's have it right. How influential was he in a lot of them and mm. I think that's part of the problem there was a real expectation and when we needed him when it was like right the going's getting a bit tough here now we need a player he wasn't that guy was he yeah Skulls mm. needs to have the day off and Anderson's like I need to have the day off I you've think, had the day off have you <laughs> has the production team got all them um, my back four right I'll read it out for you my back four I'm gonna in fact I'll read through it right goalkeepers I've got Sahibi Joe's got Tim Howard Steve's got Mark Bosnich left back I've got Tellez Joe's got Butner, Steve's got Gabriel Hines. Centre backs, I've got Jones and May. Joe's got Bailly and Blanc. Mm -hmm. Steve's got PK and Maguire. Right back, I've got Damian. Joe's got Fabio. Steve's got Richie Dillat. Um, three centre midfielders, obviously. If one centre midfielder or one midfielder, I've got Schneiderlin. Joe's got Van der Beek. Steve's got Pogba. Another midfielder, I've got Cleberson. Joe's got Veron. Steve's got Owen uh, Hargreaves. Mm -hmm. That for me is the biggest controversial one. That's the, mad. The, the that. That's insane. That's the big. That's the big one. Yeah. Um, 
also in midfield, I've got Anderson, Joe's got Kagawa, Steve, I put Di Maria in midfield for you, just the way it was all working out with your team. I, I get it's not strictly position, position. Left wing or one of the front three, I've got Yanazai, Joe's got Sanchez, Steve's got Poborski. Right wing, I've got Anthony. No, I've got Poborski on my right, Bebe's on the left. Sorry, sorry, I'll do that, I'll change that because I know what you're like. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and it does make sense because it actually fits in because Poborski was literally brought in as competition for David Beckham, which was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, so yeah, on the right wing, I've got Anthony, Joe's got Sancho, Steve's got Poborski. Centre forward, I've got Michael Owen. Joe's got the second coming mm. of Cristiano Ronaldo, or hasten to add that one. And Steve has got Radamel so, so Falcao. We've got Cal. the teams here then. First of all, before we go through this, there's a couple of names that haven't been said here that I thought would yeah. be said. Um, no one mentioned Jemba Jemba. Yeah, no one mentioned was... Forlan, no. which I know he had a one good game, but in terms of goals no. to game ratio, no. was a disaster for Manchester D United. I disaster. Um, no one mentioned Memphis Depay, which oh, surprised me. No one mentioned oh, Mkhitaryan. Yeah. No one mentioned Schweinsteiger. And the biggest surprise of all, no one's picked Lukaku. 75 million quid yeah. binned off after two good t two seasons one of them average one of them good 42 goals in 96 games might have got him out of jail it probably has might so, have got him out of jail so here's my team that's not actually a bad team when you look at it is it I is, mean, is that team I know some of them cross over yeah Better than the 11 that'll start against Lewis. I, I'll tell you right now that team at their best yeah with their full hype behind yeah. them would win a Premier League right. genuinely Dortmund Sancho Arsenal game. Sanchez Ronaldo Premier League without, without defence, bro. Yeah, of course you are. Well, Bailey, for starters, is going to take Blanc out, and Blanc's far too old <laughs> no. to if recover. You, no, so if, you, if you get the hype, if you get the hype on those players, right. right, and you've got no protection for that back four as well. Yeah, the midfield is is thin. So think, how many, think how many goals that front six is scoring. You're on the losing day. games. My team's well better, by the way. You're losing Fergie games. Win, Fergie win a league with that team. I'm telling you, right. give us my team. Go on, on, let's give, get give us Stephen House's team because, right, do you know what? Right, you're massively weak on the left wing. Awful. Right. Your, your midfield yeah, but the is elite. Your midfield is What about height and cult is, status? Is, is, is elite, right? Hargreaves and Pogba is an amazing yeah. double And pivot. also, you've and got... Di Maria, he didn't you really... Know what, to be fair to Steve, right? That back four kind of works, you know? Yeah, it like, does. It kind of does. But the reason Steve's going to... Richard gonna, Glatt's massively weak. The reason yeah. Steve's going to well, win... He's got Hargreaves protecting The reason I'm going to win is because... Mark Bozic is supplying the Bam Bam for the Knights out. So the lads are on it but yeah. you also fucked up by picking good players for Man United like the fact that Maguire and Hargreaves and Pogba in there of course you're going to win Heinzer yeah. as well they were actually that good was his, that for was United his, that was his plan Steve's all tactic was just I've pick got, people who aren't flops did Pogba win a player of the year award? I think he might have done but if, if, I've got actual player of the years in my shit yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so that's not fair of course you're going to win yours are actually good only about three of them are flops go um, on then Jay let's have a look at Jay's um, right bring up mine so this is mine. I mean, yours, very weak. Yours up front. is shit. Very weak. Up front. Yours is shit. Mine is shit. That is a real, You've that. done well there. I am happy with how yeah, poor yours my team is. Really bad. That team, yeah, is relegated. Yeah. It is like there's no there's no one there who's good. My team's gonna. Do Tell me a good player in that team. Unspeakable Steve, shit to that team. Steve's yeah. team could win the league. Your team could win the league. My team, I don't think, could win the championship. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> It ships loads of goals, we don't score any goals, and we surrender the midfield. Oh, the, the, the arguments in that team as well. Yeah. There's some ball bags in that team that are yeah. just not going to pull up trees. I, I honestly think that is a horrendous Who's team. You, go back on mine a sec. Go back to Steve's, please. Yeah, we'll get that up. Who do I give the captaincy in that? Oh, I, I, you're putting that straight on uh, Harry Maguire's arm, surely. He's the only one who's ever captain Man United. That's a really good question. Pogba's now. captain United. I mean, in the official capacity of yeah. club captain, yeah, I guess Harry Maguire is. Oh, well. maybe. I mean, if you're getting or the full career it? out of him, it's got to be so PK. So, who's your? It? You've got one of the best centre backs of all time. Who's your and number Jared seven? And in yours. That's in, not your, in that team, is it Di, Di Maria would be your number seven? Have you got a seven in yours? Me? Yeah, an actual seven for United. Um, if we can get mine back up, I don't bring, think I have actually. Bring up Joe's again. And Ronaldo. Then, oh, of course, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. We've got number you, seven. And I, uh, Sancho. And seven. Sancho. And Sanchez. And Sanchez. Well, Sanchez. Jesus Christ, you've got some right sevens. I'm yeah. Jose and I've got three number seven. <laughs> Go to mine. My Expect. number seven is leading my attack. Leading my attack to oblivion. Have you got my team up there? Yeah, we'll there you go. The one who brought the curse. And yeah. in a way, I know he's not, but in all of our hearts, Anthony is another failed number seven, isn't he? 
I know he never way. got the shirt, um, but it Just felt before like we wrap up, I've cool. got loads of, loads of people commenting, so we couldn't go through, but we had to keep moving it forward, and we actually did well to keep that on for an Yeah. Uh, Fergal McClement said, isn't it mad last 10 years, best United-related recruitment is actually Joe Smith to Stratford Paddock. Uh, Synth Miss Teak <laughs> says, are Joe and Steve going burgling <laughs> after this? Good point, yeah. yeah. Del delivery milk, tr milk tray, one for you older viewers. Uh, Benji says, are we ever going to get an explanation for Joe Smith's bizarre Maguire face? It's not a fetish. I, I just, think you've actually come out of this looking good. I sort of rallied around him when everyone else was slagging him off and admitted he wasn't good enough and he had flaws and all that. But I thought it got to the point where people loved the fact that he was a meme and that you could take the piss and non-stop. And I thought he's had more good games than bad games for Man United and I stand by that even now. Uh, and I think a lot of it's based on a price tag that was That win percentage comment's not for. looking great now, is it? Well, yeah, but it's a price tag that was argued for by other people, not him. He didn't pick the 80 million, did he? The one thing Maguire's got going for him is obviously he's playing for United at the minute, he's doing all right, and he's got a chance that if we have a successful season, people look at him fondly. See? I don't see that happening with Anthony. I know he's still in the, in the squad. I think he's too harsh on Anthony. You know Anthony, the warm-up the other day. Go on. Amazing. Um, he, he has a warm-up. Yeah. You know. So we got pitch side on Tuesday. Um, literally standing right next to uh, the gaffer when he was getting interviewed. Um, Did you so give him any tips? Did he what? ask you anything? Did he ask you? We had a little bit, you know. Yeah, you told him um, what he's going wrong. Good lad. And he goes, uh, Ash goes to us. <laughs> he goes, I'm not having Anthony. <laughs> and he went, look at him. He's wearing double earrings in the warm up. Good. Which Beckham. is mental. Like Beckham. For a, a pro athlete in a match warm up. Like, I go bananas if Pallet Lads do that. Right, okay. And we're not playing in the Champions League. Yeah. You know, and he goes, I think Ash's line was somewhat along the lines of, that's exactly what he needs, isn't it? More heat. He's like, maybe, Joe, with all the, the noise around you, whether you should play, not play, this, that, another. He goes, what are you going to do? Put dangly earrings in to go for me warm up. Is that just not the simple? Like, can you imagine picking some dangly earrings? Yeah, but to go out and put your warm up on what, what while, whilst Roy you know Keane is leaving the boys is, out I, I get you. I don't it's want to play who changes who they are because they're scared. It's, it's not a point. It's, it's the fucking, them details are being overlooked at this football club at the moment. Mm. And that's the problem, is that no one's gripping him and going, what the fuck are you doing? Mm. Look at you. This is not how you go to warm up a Champions League fucking game. Mm. And it's those things and it's them standards which creep into... I'll just fucking dosh in on my left and twat it over the bar. No one cares. You may have a point. Sometimes it's the little things that do add up. Uh, that's been... It's brown M&Ms, Jay. It's brown M&Ms. It's the earrings in the warm-up. They ain't rigged up these lights properly. Awesome. There you go. Stephen Allison has spoken. Pearls of wisdom there. Uh, big thanks to Steve. Big thanks to Joel. Thanks for everyone got involved in the comments and the oh, chat. Oh, Jay. Go no on. one's going to come, so I'm not going to ask you to come because United are playing at the exact same fucking time Mates. tomorrow. Again, but I always ask you this. Forgive, forgive me, I forgot. Stratford Paddock versus Main Road. Right. She, yeah. United versus City. That's Can we say time. as well? Can we just put this out there now on camera on the live? If you speak to me on Saturday afternoon or whenever I see you and you tell me that you've let them fucking Blues beat your boys, I'm going to be very disappointed. Getting miles, but we sell it to death. I already know this. Does, so. right. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good lad. Right. This has been United's Flop 11. That's been Stephen Allison. That's been Joe Smith. Go and check out his channel, Straight for Paddock FC. You see them boys playing at the same time as United. I'll be back tomorrow with a watch along. What are you? Oh, you're not here, are you? No. You know what? Where are you going? Nephew's oh, birthday time. party. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you see me? What, you're spending? a fucking clown. Yeah. Nice. I am actually. <laughs> With that. <laughs> At least I'm legally allowed to go to kids' birthday parties. There we go. Hey, <laughs> bit of paedophilia to round off the Friday afternoon. Just when we were getting through a brew without any controversy. Really? Let's throw it We in. have Webby on every other Friday. That's a very good point, well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.